Hi guys, I am back today um, to answer a question I've gotten a couple of times about my to-do list that is inside of a calendar. So I'm going to show you how to make that. This is just a blank page that I started with and I'm going to just create a database. For now, we'll just do um, inline and I'm going to change this to a calendar view and I'm going to get rid of there were those three there originally. Okay, so normally when you add something to your calendar, say we have to wash the dog, it'll show up like this. Um, but if you want to make a to-do list that you can see inside of your calendar, you can do this from scratch every time. I like to make a template so that it um, is already there for me. I'm just going to put task here for now. Um, and I do like to put the priority um, so that I can see what is super necessary to get done right away. Um, okay, so we'll delete those for now because this is just the template. We'll want the date to be today we're going to add one more property which is the checklist or the checkbox sorry okay so and if i do new or do this it still does um let's see the the old one so i can click here task that way if there's any other information you want to add here in your template Okay, so now let's say wash the dog. And that is a uh, medium priority, needs to get done soon. Um, and the checkbox we're gonna leave unchecked because we haven't done it yet and it filled in today's date. Um, I mean, the 11th, that's where I clicked. Now it still looks like it did before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to properties and put in what you want to see. Now you can just have the checkbox show, but if you also want that priority, you can have that show there too. Um, I like to keep the priority off on this view, but where what I like to do is I like to make a new view of this I make another calendar, but then I make a week. And then that is where I am able to put more. I just don't like it to be so cluttered. So that was, uh, let's see, there we go. So when I look at my weekly view, then it'll show the checkbox and then there's, you know, um, more room here. And I can change this to weekly. Okay. And the other thing I like to do sometimes, depending on um, where I have this, if it's for work or whatever, I like to have a daily view. That way, when I click on today, I can just see what I have for today, the checkbox, the priority, I can see everything there. Um, this way I can kind of get an overview of my month. I like to have the week up, pulled up during the week with, sometimes there's more prior uh, uh, properties, more details, um, but then as you check it off, then you can you know keep it there um, and see what's done. The other awesome thing about doing this too is let's say, you know, this was actually a low priority and it can wait another day, um, I can just drag it over. Now, if there is something else that um, you do every day, but you want on there, you can, let's say we have it here, I'll uncheck this, I can hold Alt. It might be different, I use a Mac, but I use a Windows keyboard. 
Um, I will try to find the shortcut for it, but on my Windows keyboard, I hold down Alt, and then I can move it. So then, um, and you can do that with a whole list, and click and drag them all um, if you want. And then you can just check them off as you go. You can make your views however you want. You can change the filters uh, in the sort. So you, you maybe don't wanna see the tags or um, other properties you add. So that is how to make a to-do list inside of your calendar. Let me know if you have any questions and I will do my best to help. Um, and let me know what you wanna see next. Thanks.